Aaron and Janae, Republicans will have even more say in both chambers this year, so they want to see what they can do with it. However, there are also a lot of newbies here. In fact, 39 of the 100 members in the House are freshmen. We'll start over here, and then we'll just come around the first row, and then we'll come, come back to the second row. So logistics are important on the opening moments of the first day of the legislative session. You have to get everybody in the right spot, get them signed in, get them sworn in. The Republican versus Democrat numbers in regards to members can vary from session to session. If you look back over the past 20 years, each party has had the majority at various times. But this year, Republicans will now have 64 of the 100 seats. That's the most since 1994. And another change here, they will have a representative in all 99 counties. Fresh off an election cycle, I know we're all feeling very in touch with our districts. Iowans turned out in droves yet again this election cycle to make their voices heard with more than 1.2 million votes cast. Iowans were loud and clear and they were a part of us setting our majority for the 2023 legislative session. Iowans are exhausted by politics as usual. Some of us might be too. Let's do things differently this year. They want us to work together to get things done from beginning to end. Things that they will see in their everyday lives, impacts that will make their lives better that they can notice right away. Now, one of the most intriguing issues to watch will be how and how much lawmakers end up funding education. You'll remember the last two years, the governor has pushed a version of a plan that would switch millions of dollars from public schools to private schools. Republicans now have a larger majority here in both chambers, but in previous two years, they oppose the governor's plan, at least in the House. Now they have more members in the House. We will see if this new makeup helps the governor get this plan through, and we should learn more about her plan tomorrow night in her condition of the state address. We will see a lot more to come. Thanks, Dave.